Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. I will hope everyone's having a great day today. Uh, here in Georgia, our weather is just absolutely beautiful this morning. Yep. Temperature is going to be up in the mid 50s and uh, sunshine, we're looking forward to it. Uh, we're going to be having rain on Sunday though. <laughs> so it'll be another dreary day tomorrow. Uh, another book reading day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've had a real good week this week. Uh, we've had a lot of new subscribers, so I just want to thank everyone that started watching our channel recently. We really appreciate you watching our channel. Uh, our channel has primarily evolved into a cooking channel, and uh, it started off a little different than that, but for right now it is primarily a cooking channel, and we do like to share things that Marie and I do. Uh, we've been trying to learn how to vlog, and we're not very successful on that. But we're going to try again today, uh, this evening. Mm -hmm. We're going to go visit Addison, aren't we, Marie? Right. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to try to vlog a little bit of that trip, and hopefully it'll turn out pretty good for us. Um, this last week, we had two videos that we did that were cooking videos. And Marie, do you want to talk about them? Well, we had the um, strawberry uh, icebox cake, and uh, it was really delicious. And I had several people that I know around here that made it and really enjoyed it and mm -hmm. loved it. Yeah. And I also think that's a great little uh, Valentine's easy dessert to uh, serve to your loved one or your sweetheart, whoever you want to um, serve it to <laughs> and also uh, Calvin and um, me together cooked the goulash yeah we called it the American goulash yeah. and uh, it's just basic goulash but we had a few extra ingredients that made a little more spice in it it was really delicious I loved it yeah I used to make it quite a bit when the children were at home because they requested it all the time but it just sort of slipped our mind until recently to one of our subscribers sent us uh, some uh, recipes and we remembered it and we said, we used to make that all the time and so we said, uh, let's make it again. And I've made it before and so this time you made it your way. Yeah, and I liked it so much, I've already asked Maria, I said this coming week, let's make it again because yeah. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, what I like to do is get me a little bowl full up for lunch it makes a perfect lunch don't yeah it? and also you like us sometimes what we eat for lunch if we make a lot of it we eat it for supper mm -hmm. and then uh, the next not the next day but the next day after we'll eat it yeah we we use our leftovers pretty good yeah um on the strawberry icebox cake that marie did our daughter loved how it looked and mm -hmm. so she made one a couple of days later, and she made it uh, with Addison helping her. Yeah. She sent me a couple of video clips. So if you watch this video all the way to the end, we're going to post those video clips at the end, and you can see little Addison doing and, that. And Addison loves strawberries, so I think she ate more of the strawberries <laughs> than Cynthia was able to put on the dessert. Yeah, Cynthia told me, she said, uh, she said Addison wasn't too excited about making the cake. She just kept wanting to reach in there and get some strawberries to eat. Right. <laughs> but the video turned out nice. If you didn't see that video, you need to go back and watch it. I think you'll enjoy it. The second cooking video that we did this last week was the uh, Mexican cornbread casserole. Yeah. Now, Marie makes Mexican cornbread all the time. And we love it. We usually have it with uh, either soup or beans or something like that. Yeah. But this time, it was Mexican cornbread with all the beef and the vegetables in it, mm -hmm. which made it a casserole, and it was a complete meal by itself. 
yeah. and thoroughly enjoyed that. I still got just a little bit over there. I'm probably going to have that for lunch later today, Marie, possibly. Yeah. Uh, but definitely we've still got a little bit left and I'm going to enjoy it. We also put some um, taco sauce on it and we enjoyed that on it. Yeah, it was real good with taco sauce on top of it. Yeah, you could even put lettuce or even uh, black olives and sour cream. Yeah. But it's good just like it is, really. Yeah, just like it was, just heated up. It's just fine. Mm -hmm. And also, I, some of the sides that I suggested to serve with it mm -hmm. was uh, carrots, and you could serve cream potatoes or green beans, or you can just eat it like Kevin says, just as a meal in itself. And yeah. that's what we mostly did, but yeah. we did put us a little bit of corn with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, on that video, I was going to help Marie make that one, but I wasn't feeling good that day. And I had, I think I had two or three days this last week that I didn't feel good. Yeah. So I didn't get on camera. And some but, of our uh, subscribers have been uh, asking us to remember them. Some of them have said they hadn't been feeling good either. And then some of them are having financial difficulties. And then some of them are, you know, grieving and different little things like that. And so, uh, so uh, when y'all see uh, the comments and you see people that say something other like that jot their name down and pray for them because it really helps prayer does it does and i've noticed a few of our subscribers do go through the comments uh -huh. and they read the comments and they do that already okay that's great i got the hiccups a little bit so maybe i won't start hiccuping <laughs> too bad I, we don't have anything to drink this morning marie yeah we didn't fix our coffee did we <laughs> <laughs> well we know that as soon as we finish recording this uh, chat this is Saturday morning. You'll be seeing it on Sunday morning. Yeah. But as soon as we get through recording, we're going to uh, load up and take some things down there to Kimberly. Uh, do you remember the little step stool that we got her? I talked about it in a video a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. We still haven't got that down there to her, but we're going to take it down to Addison uh, today. Yeah. And so hopefully she'll enjoy it. Yeah, her um, grandmother bought her one, and she really enjoys uh, working one. in the kitchen with her grandmother. In fact, when you see the clips of the strawberry cake, uh, she's in her steps to there. Yeah. So, um, Marie, now I do have a treatment coming up. Uh, it's not coming up this week, yeah. but it'll be Monday week from now, so. Mm -hmm. About eight or nine more days, I'll have another treatment. Just so, about when you get to feeling good, it's time for another one. I was going to say, by the time I feel good, here comes another treatment. Yeah, but at least, you know, um, it helps. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to admit, today, right this minute, I feel pretty good. I've had some bad days this week. Yeah. But I do feel pretty good right now. Yeah. This sunshine outside just makes me feel that much better. Yeah. Can't wait to uh, get in the car and go somewhere. Yeah. And just looking forward to getting out of the house. Right. And so uh, we do have a, a video already made. I put a picture on the community post, and that video is scheduled to come out Tuesday afternoon. And we've already got that pre-made. If we make something today, you know, with our little trip down to see Addison, we may try to put it on Monday night. Yeah. Or if we don't do it Monday night, we'll do it Wednesday night. But as soon as we can, we'll put it on. But I uh, hope everybody's doing good. Uh, the weather is not too bad here in Georgia. And I know that up north, a lot of people still having snow and yeah. cold weather. And uh, so I hope everything clears up for y'all and hope your temperatures warm up. I'm looking forward to spring myself, Marie. <laughs> As long as summer don't come in spring this year. <laughs> yeah. And I've even, I've even mentioned to uh, my son, I told him, I said, I'm thinking about having a garden again this year because I didn't have one last year at all. Yeah. But, well, I hope that you can have one because you really like it, and I do too. Yeah. But, you know, we'll see, won't we? <laughs> yeah. Even if I have to do a small garden, I'd love yeah. to have a garden. Yeah. But now the deer have been coming in our yard. Oh, yeah, that's so pretty, frustrating. Yeah, they come in there pretty regular right now. Yeah, and we don't want to go building no fence and <laughs> all of that to have a few vegetables. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I may still plant them even if they do end up being deer food. But uh, I love planting tomato plants. 
We do put and somewhat of a fence around ours, though, but yeah. they still manage to eat it. They they <laughs> they get to where they're not scared of anything. Yeah. But they're to me they're sweet and beautiful. They I love are. I love seeing the deer. And Calvin is one of the reasons that I think that they come in our yard is because you have put salt blocks out there. Uh, no, not salt blocks. Now I talked about that. I put corn out there for them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have fed them corn. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> now, I thought you put a salt block out there. No, one no, no. Okay. I said a lot of people do put salt oh, blocks okay. out, uh, deer hunters, and they do that to attract the deer in. Okay. But I've never put a salt block out. But now I do put corn out. I love feeding them the corn. Yeah. I hadn't done any of this last year. Yeah. But before that, we'd have a garden, and I'd put the corn way down the end of our yard so that the deer would go there instead of coming up into the garden to eat. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> well, it, I was blaming it on you. <laughs> no. Nah, well, it's still my fault, though. If you feed them, they're going to come around. Yeah. But I love seeing the deer, and nothing I hate worse than going down the highway just right below our house yeah. and start to go somewhere and see a deer on the side road that got hit because yeah. I know it's one of the deers that come into our yard. Yeah. Sometimes they get trapped across the street in the fence of our neighbor, yeah. and uh, it's difficult getting them out sometimes. Yeah, that happens too. <laughs> Another thing that we have trouble with uh, with strays, we've got the little kitty cat that we call Angel. Well, there's a lot of stray kitty cats in the neighborhood, mm. and right now I think we've got about three kitty cats they like to come around and visit. And, and none of them are really our cats. <laughs> they don't belong to anyone, as far as we know. But they, Angel does. She belongs to our son. Yeah, to our grandson. Yeah, grandson. But, but the other kitty cats, they come around and they uh, steal her food. And I told Marie was saying, you know, I hate it when they steal her food. I said, well, those little kitty cats are hungry. Just put a little extra out there so they'll all have enough to eat. <laughs> yeah. And so Marie they likes, leave a lot of little extra things around too. <laughs> <laughs> but they're sweet. Yeah. We love animals. I do. I, I do love just animals Just like we and love cats. Just like we love people, right, Marie? Right. right. Okay. I guess we've talked enough today. Uh, hopefully, we'll have something this week. We didn't go shopping any last week, did we, Marie? Uh, or did, or did no, we? not much. Yeah, I don't even think we did grocery pickup this last week. Yeah. Uh, we did all of our cooking out of the pantry pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how we like doing it, don't we? Uh, at certain times it's good to do it because, you know, your stuff does start getting out of date if you don't use it up. Yeah. But I'm sure we'll be doing some shopping this coming week. And uh, we'll try to make some more good videos this coming week. We appreciate everyone watching our channel. Uh, we'll go ahead and close it out here. Y'all have a great uh, weekend, and we'll see you on the next video. And like Calvin said, y'all have a great weekend, and we'll see you on the next video. And y'all do what you love and love what you do. And bye. Annie's helping Mama make a strawberry cake. Mm. Looks like Annie's going to do more eating uh, than cooking, though. Push it. Push it down. <laughs> There we go. Here you go, Bob. Want to do it again? Yeah. Push it down. Push. Oh. Right. You want to put them in the bowl? Put them in the bowl for me. <laughs> you can have them. Here you go. Put this one in. Put it right there. That's good. Mm, is that tasty? You can taste it. Here you go. Where, where are you going to put that one? Can you put it right there? Here, we'll put this one right there. We better keep that one out since you licked it. Annie, did you make strawberry icebox cake? Can you show it to G-Pops? Say, look, G-Pops, what I made. Is it going to be good? Yeah. Do you think it's going to be good? That looks good, Addie. Mmm. You want to lick a spoon? You want to lick a spoon? No spoon. All right. Say, do what you love and love what you do. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see.
from up here 